Greetings to one and all, it's your old buddy Jay here coming at you with another episode of Countermeasures Game Changer. Now, I haven't really uh, done a uh, review format like this for a little while. I've been doing a lot of Jay plays and a lot of illustration. So I thought that I might just uh, throw one of these out there because I had some pretty decent footage that I uh, recorded the other day of Aliens Fireteam Elite pathogen this is the dlc um that uh came out i think it came out about i don't know like four or five weeks ago maybe a couple of months ago now i'm running a little bit behind as always but you know there's just too much to play and also it being october or shocktober as i constantly keep calling it to a lot of people's annoyance um it uh is it falls nicely in the themes of one of those horror games that i like um, so without further ado, I will just do a little recap because I have actually reviewed this game already uh, and obviously this is the DLC. So I just wanted to get back into this and have a quick look at it because I I, um, I really enjoyed Fireteam Elite when it came out in 2021. Um, so I've got my little notes here just to remind me of uh, where we are. But yeah, that's right. It was, it was produced by Cold Iron Studios, uh, developed by Disney uh, 20th Century and um yeah it was a pretty solid third person uh action shooter where you uh star as one of the space marines from um the aliens franchise from particularly from aliens the second in the film series directed by james cameron no less who's also coming out with another 20 avatar films which i absolutely am I in mean, shock of but whatever um but more on that in the future um, yeah, so basically uh, the, that means that you are one of these soldiers that is, um, you know, going down onto uh, a planet to wipe out aliens that have infested there and then you're on, you're on a ship at one point and then you're on a planet and you're doing all this stuff and uh, it's all very exciting. Um, and you can play with two other bots if you want to or like you can see here you can load up by uh, finding a couple of randoms or you know you can invite your friends to join your team I always tend to play with randoms I played with bots to start with and um, I wasn't really enjoying it that much and also the AI wasn't very good on them so um, it was kind of spoiling my enjoyment a little bit so I found it better for this particular style of game to load up with a couple of randoms even if you know you don't have to speak to anyone um, but just having other human players there to um, you know uh, to have a little bit more of a human element in the game while you're playing uh, just from a kind of practical point of view of, of, you know if you get downed they instantly help you whereas with the bots they might get stuck on something or you know it wasn't quite working um, so much the same as the uh, the original um, one that came out last year the DLC expands a little bit on the story and as you can see here you before you're loading in which by the way you know loading up and joining uh, teams in order to set up your mission is quite a long process it can even now like this has been out for a little while and it's not a particularly long DLC um, it does take a while to load in so I did find myself sitting in the lobby waiting for people to come in uh, and, and join the fire team if you like um, you choose a challenge card before you play the game you set up your consumables so challenge card could be anything from like um you know you can get extra xp by uh, having a very low health bar or having limited ammo or having a, a particular um filter on the screen that makes everything kind of a little bit fuzzy so you're looking through like an old style camera there's all these kind of nice little challenge cards that are thrown in there um you know a lot of them were in the original game there have been more added over time where there's various things like you know you, you on, on this particular game i didn't um uh, have necessarily the highest combat rating to qualify to play for the DLC but then you can add a challenge card which is like double your health or or um, you know increase your armor and things like that and if you're lucky like I was uh, when you do eventually load into the game you load in with with players that are actually slightly higher level than you so even though I hardly got down I think I got down like one maybe once while I was playing it um, it does mean that there's a little bit more of a support group there and they can carry you through to a certain amount a certain degree 
um, which is you know which is always good because I haven't always got time to grind out the original game to boost my combat rating up to get me ready for this I still want to play it so there are ways to kind of get through it but you're going to suffer in some ways which is maybe you're you're not as strong or as, or as um, you know formidable as your, your fellow players but in this case um, I felt pretty balanced even though uh, my combat rating was quite low so the at the end of the original uh, version of this um, the original uh, game that came out in 2021 the um, the deal was you were eventually fighting to a point where you you got to like an alien queen nest but there was a bit of criticism about the game because you never actually get to fight against the alien queen she's just chasing you at the end and obviously they did that for two reasons i think maybe one budgetary uh to have that kind of big boss fight at the end um i would imagine it would have uh, taken a lot to get right uh and two it kind of would complete the game uh which is not really what you want to do because this is a game about going back into the same missions again and again and grinding for new gear getting new xp um, you know, and you got a lot of that in the first uh, iteration of this. Um, and now this version that has, you know, the DLC that gives you a whole load of other stuff to grind for. So there are new weapon skins, there are there's new armor. Um, or, you know, I mean, when I first started playing this, there were like two or three different outfits. Now, you know, this guy that's running with me here, he's got like a bobble hat on. I'm wearing like full on like white sort of stormtrooper armor and. You know, so there's a whole variety of of uh, different look and feels for your characters now that can really make them yours. And I think that's something with these sorts of games that's really important. You're looking at your character all the time when you're playing. It's not like a first person shooter. So you want to see uh, your character and you want to see him looking cool. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I thought that they, they've done very well on that um, in terms of not only in the original uh game but also um in you know in the dlc they added a, a few new elements now obviously not much has changed in terms of gameplay you are running from section to section which is essentially just like a kind of horde mode you get to a certain point you have to battle a whole load of aliens once you've killed them all it'll allow you to progress to the next level there are various things like you have to pick up explosives to blow through a wall or maybe you have to um you know uh collect a specific thing in order to you know like scan an alien body or something like that in order to progress and you know i think that's fine they keep it pretty basic they they just want you to do what you want to do which is i just want to run around shooting aliens the the story can be pretty basic it doesn't need to be overly thought you're in quite nice locations i always think all these kind of old styly buildings that have aliens running up and down the walls are quite fun um they try to dial a little bit of um the engineer um kind of law of this uh, aliens franchise in a bit more so there are a few kind of bodies and things and sort of hints at when the engineers maybe lived here or have something to do with it um i'm not really bothered about any of that i i, I feel like the engineer stuff was quite interesting but in a way that feels like a different franchise to me i i kind of try and disconnect that from the alien uh, um, you know branding because um, what I love about the original concept of the alien is that you don't know where it's from or what it is it's totally alien to you so you don't you have no idea uh, where it's come from and or how to tackle it and they're incredibly formidable um, and uh, you know I really like that when they try to kind of start to explain it for me it starts to lose something so I'm, I, I get less interested now the story behind the pathogen is that um, in the uh, I think it's like Prometheus and, and the subsequent film by, by Ridley Scott, the more recent ones, um, there's like a, a goo that can kind of develop organic creatures into something else. So like turns worms into little monsters and turns people into different monsters. And it doesn't have to be the same monster each time. It just kind of depends on your genetic makeup sort of changes you, etc., etc. So there's this kind of mystery black goo that can kind of turn anything into anything. Um, and I believe that part of the story of this is that the aliens have been exposed to this so that's why you've got these weird like little white alien uh, dudes running around rather than the traditional black ones and I think that's fine it's nice to have new enemies to fight so you're kind of entering one of their nests and I think that's that's absolutely fine I think you know the minute to minute gameplay is fun the weapons just sound awesome obviously they had all of the all of the original uh, sounds of like the uh, pulse rifles and the, the, the great big um, uh, you know like the, the adios 
gun that I'm carrying on my back here, the the, the bigger machine machine guns and, and explosives and things like that. They're all true to form and true to the franchise, and, and you know they've they've really gone to town on all of that, um, which is great because that's what you want to do. You want to fire a a, um, a pulse rifle and it sounds like a pulse rifle and um, the sounds of the aliens dying all sound like the aliens dying um, so this DLC kind of breaks down into three stages you have the initial stage where you're running around at the top you have the next stage where you're slowly getting down to the nest and then you have this third level where you do get into the nest and as you can see it's all a bit gloopy there's not much change to the gameplay in as much as things just jump out at you you have to shoot them if you get separated from your team for longer than a few seconds they do start to kind of come out of the walls and, and start to chase you so i like the pressure of that so you can't kind of clear a bit and hang back for ages leaving your team to to kind of get on with with the mission or if you just want to go and quickly make a cup of coffee you can't leave your guy hanging around because he will get attacked um, so this is uh, getting this is getting quite close to the end now. These, these visuals here, but um, yeah. So you run through this. I mean, there is one slight change up on this, in as much as there's like these explosive eggs on the wall, and if you get too close to them, they explode and damage you. That's something that wasn't in, uh, as far as I can remember, wasn't in the original setup for this game. So that is a new mechanic they've added. Um, I like all of the, uh, you know, this this particular section, this particular level is one of my favorite looking levels i mean i like the, that kind of shiny white egg feel to everything is quite sickening and you know the idea that the aliens have mutated again i don't know if i necessarily like the idea of it being canon but i like the idea of this kind of big playground where anything like that can happen um so you know it's good it's a creative way to kind of develop this so you know your mission is to stop yeah, i don't think you're stopping a queen you're stopping like a bull or whatever it's like a the kind of daddy alien if you like so um you know you sh you'll see in a minute i do actually a total spoilers you probably should turn off a couple of minutes before the end of this review just so it doesn't spoil anything because i think i have actually included the end of the tlc in this uh in this sort of mini review um i i mean the pros are that uh you know there's 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 new new uh materials and things that you can collect there's new items there's new clothing there's you know all the di all that kind of stuff there's uh new alien guys that, that uh that you can fight and also i think in various parts of the the game the black aliens are fighting the white aliens so there's this like little civil war thing going on there's some new kinds of aliens like you've got one here where that kind of disappears and reappears next to you and then you've got uh, it's got like a sort of um active camouflage and then you've got uh, sort of bigger aliens that have got like big fists that run over like the brutes that will come and attack you. And, you know, and I like the fact that they're varying that up. Um, yeah, it's fun. I mean, the truth is, is that I kind of saw uh, I saw the DLC. It was like 12 quid or whatever, which I think is too much for this, because I mean, from start to finish, it's about an hour long. So it's not really very long at all. Um, I mean, I was playing on a standard difficulty. If you were grinding this on harder, it would be it would take much longer. But the, the initial kind of um, you know, the, the standard walkthrough of this, of this this particular game is about an hour. So it's not really that long. But then, you know, when you've got a lot of other stuff to play and you want to kind of get through it and, and uh, experience it, in its entirety then maybe that isn't a bad thing i mean i think it's slightly overpriced my feeling is it probably should have just been free or part of the part of the uh the the, the pass or whatever that you got when you first bought this game because um, i think i bought the higher end version of this game for the extra um armor the sort of you know the looks of the armor and stuff um so anyway i, I do think that's a bit of a rip off i think it's probably like eight pounds now and i'm playing all of this on ps5 um so, oh yeah, here he is. So this is the guy, uh, you've got to take this guy down here. He's like the big daddy. So you don't get to fight like a giant, a pathogen queen, there you go. You don't get to fight like a giant queen at the end of the original game. So I guess they have gone back and kind of have given you a little bit more of what it might be like to do that. Um, I think it's a good thing, you know, uh, it, it's good that they include it. They haven't got the initial kind of the big black alien queen that everyone really wants to fight. I don't think they should put that in yet. They should save that for the second one or subsequent DLC to keep people coming back. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I did enjoy it. It's fun. Um, 
I there's a few quality of life things that they haven't improved like when you go back on the ship the endeavor and you're kind of upgrading your armor and stuff like that or maybe you're talking to people that have given you missions they still haven't animated the faces of the characters which I think is a little bit of a miss I mean it, they've got really good voice acting for all you know they all sound on par and all the the graphics look a little bit PS3 but whatever I mean you kind of give it a pass because that it's it's just kind of like the hub area but they haven't really um given you you know they haven't they could have easily animated all that stuff but, um, anyway. so yeah just a few gripes but i would say it, it's worth a look um it's a six out of ten for me um and uh yeah i think that probably yeah that probably sums up roughly what i what i think about it in terms of uh you know whether you should buy it i don't know if you should buy it necessarily just wait till it's really on sale for like three quid or something or even uh if you haven't bought the game yet just wait until they package it with um you know a bigger set of all the dlc stuff and and, and then just download and play it all at once because i don't think it's worth the, you know, the price tag it came out with um other than that like i said i think six out of ten uh, i did enjoy it but you know i'm a sucker for any of this kind of stuff so um you know when it comes to the aliens franchise um and yeah i don't know if i would recommend it but if you are into the aliens it's not you know it's not really a, a must see but um but again it's more of the same so if you enjoyed the game the first time around then this is a welcome extra couple of levels that you can just play around with at your leisure and there you go that's all i've got to say so um thanks for tuning in like subscribe if you've got this far hit the buttons and the dongles and whatever and all that stuff i do um i am on twitch quite a lot at the moment i have been streaming uh some j plays which have been quite fun um just sort of slightly longer form uh reviews really because i haven't really got time to sit down and do this uh all the time unfortunately but i can just pop in now and do like half an hour or, or an hour of gameplay and talk about it um so if you're into that then you can go over to twitch and check that out i also do upload to the youtube channel with with that uh those um player uh, j plays as well which is quite good um and yeah and i'm doing some illustration stuff at the moment so i've been in a part of the the channel which is called the drawing room which has um you know a whole load of comic book stuff that i'm working on so that's uh yeah check that out if you are so inclined um other than that uh i should probably go and get on with some work really but uh thanks for tuning in and until next time be good stay safe and be kind to one another Yes.